name is Muhammad Abdul Afiq. And my name is Noor Aisha. We, we are, are from, from MRSM, MRSM Sultan Azlansha. Farmers and agronomists have to adapt to new technology and innovation. Agriculture drone is one such example. The use of pesticides and fertilizers are very important in crop yielding. But manual spraying of this results in some chronic illness such as arthritis, asthma, cancer, watering of eyes can also result to the test due to excessive consumption of harmful chemicals present in them. The COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in the critical need to maximize the cleanliness of public spaces and to disinfect these areas regularly to reduce the virus transmission. Agricultural hexacopter drones help to guard against the spread of COVID-19 pathogens. The hexacopter drones are equipped to spray chemicals. Their spraying capabilities have been adapted to disinfectant duties. During the pandemic, the need to disinfect large areas was presenting a problem for public health officials. Using handheld spraying equipment deployed by ground crews threatened the safety of personnel. It was time consuming, so workers spent a great deal of time potentially exposed to chemicals and pathogens. The major objective of this pilot project is to custom design a functional prototype of hexacopter drone DRX-2022 equipped with an efficient spraying system and also incorporated with payload arrangement. The spraying mechanism can be triggered by using the remote control. The resulting system was capable of achieving the following. A flying time of at least 10 minutes covering a distance of 2 km when operated in automatic mode with the ability of carrying 500 ml of payload at takeoff and delivering a spray mist at a flow rate ranging between 20 and 25 ml per 30 seconds. The choice of hexacopter drone frame plays a main role in the terms of physical strength and weight. In the proposed idea, the frame use consists of PCB board and landing gear with carbon fiber material for less weight, more durability, and strength. The selection of motors plays a vital role as it decides the amount of payload the drone can lift with stability. The choice of electronic speed controllers should be compatible with the BLDC motors and the flight controllers. According to the motor ratings and amount of thrust produced, we can decide the payload weights. The motor layout is shown in the figure 5. The 6 BLDC motors are mounted to the 6 arms of the frame. There are 3 clockwise and 3 counterclockwise. Motors which will create net forces acting on a body should be zero. The speed of the motor is regulated using an electronic speed control system, ESC. This ESC provides electric dynamic braking to the system. It also takes care of reversal of direction in the system by reversing the direction of rotation of the motor. The six ESC are soldered to power distribution board, PDB. There are output wires which are to be connected to the BLDC motors. There are also digital pins in each ESC connected to PixHot to control the speed of the motor. The spray assembly to drone. The spray system consists of a DC pump, tank, controller, nozzles. Spray system should be attached to the drone in such a way that the drone is stable even for attachment. When the controller receives the signal from the user and it will turn on or off the pump. In on condition, the pump gets turned on and sprays the fertilizer through nozzles that is used to spray the pesticides and fertilizers on the farm which reduces the health issues of farmer community. Besides that, also can be used as a sanitization drone to reduce the virus transmission, help to guard against the spread of COVID-19 pathogens. In addition, GPS module can be interfaced to the pixel. By using this, the drone automatically takes off and land. It can also reach the desired location using GPS coordinates in mapping the certain amount of land for fertilizer spray so that the drone will automatically spray the fertilizers following the map path. The drone comes to the initial position during the low battery and low signal range conditions using GPS. To maintain a constant height and avoiding collisions, an ultrasonic sensor can be interfaced with Pig's Hawk. Significance of drone technology for achievement of SDGs SDG number 3, good health and well-being 
PRS22 put in safer environment by reducing the rate of infectious diseases. SDG number 8, decent work and economic growth. PRS22 is an eye in the sky for agriculture simplifying process and creating jobs of better standard. SDG number 9, industry, innovation and infrastructure. PRS22, equipped with high resolution camera, get the process data about major disaster and help to make better objective decisions. SDG number 15, Life on Land. DRS22 reduce the use of chemical spraying and thus benefits animals and plants.